you just finished conducting your interviews and you think the hard part is over. Think again. What if I told you that the biggest mistake research students make happens right here before the analysis even begun? Stick around because in this video, I am going to show you how to transcribe smarter, not harder in 2025. a master student or a PhD student starting down hours of interview audios or videos. This is for you. Every year, thousands of research students get completely stuck at this stage. But here is the secret that they don't tell you. Transcription isn't just a show. It is the first and most crucial step of your analysis. It is where you truly start to know your data. In this video, we are going to demystify the entire process. I am not just going to tell you to type what you hear. I am going to give you a research framework for transcription. The exact step I teach my own clients so you can build solid foundation for a powerful analysis. And yes, I will show you the big, best free and paid tools to get it done. First, let's get crystal clear. Transcription is simply the process of converting spoken language from your audio or video recording into written text. That is the process of transforming your audio and video interviews to a text format. I know you are thinking, but why is it so important? <laughs> why is it so important to transcribe? Or can't you just analyze your audio or video like that? Well, imagine trying to find pattern across 20 hours of conversation or you have, or you have over 30 interview transcripts. It is nearly impossible. Transcription gives your data structure. It allows you to preserve your raw data for deep exploration. Code, highlight, and annotate to identify themes. And ultimately, it helps you to get familiar with your data, even before your analysis. So, see your transcripts as the map of your analytical journey. That is where your analysis journey actually starts. Without a good map, you are just wandering around hoping to find something. So how do you create a great map? Let's break it down. The different types of transcription. Not all transcripts are created equally. Your choice here depends entirely on, on your research goal. There are three main types of transcription. Number one, verbatim transcription. This is a word for word, everything for everything, copy. It includes all the, hmm, oh, the pause, the latter, and repeated words. It's, it's essential to discuss on narrative analysis, where how something is said. It is as important as what is said. The second one is what? Intelligent verbatim or clear read. Here, here, here you remove the final words and first start to create a clean, readable text. But you strictly preserve the meaning and essence of what you said by the participants. And the third one, which is the last type of transcription, is summarized transcription. It is a polished summary of the conversation, more useful for presenting findings than for digging into the data yourself. Now, here is it. For most qualitative analysis, the only acceptable method of transcription is verbatim. You got it? What are you waiting for? Smash the like button. If this is helping you so far, it really supports the channel. Now, let's talk about the tools for transcription. Now, you have options from totally manual to fully automated. Manual tools such as Google Documents or 
MS Word. You can play the audio and type or play it and allow MS Word or Google document to do the transcription. Remember, it is free. Never mind. In my next video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step approach on how to transcribe for free using Microsoft Word and Google Documents. Semi-automated AI tools. This is the game changer. Tools like Auto AI, Rev, Sonics, or, or AppyScribe use AI to generate a first draft transcript for you. Then shift from typing to editing and correcting. Can you see that it's soft? This can cut your time in half. The last one is specialized research software. Tools like InVivo and Atlas TI often have built-in transcription features or integrations, letting you transcribe and code within the same platform. But my recommendation for my students and my clients starts with a tool like Otter AI. You have access to free, free uploads of video or audio. But for better use, you can subscribe to the paid version of Otter AI, which helps you to transcribe within the shortest time. But here, here is the part most tutorials never tell you. Transcription isn't a passive task. The real pro tips is this. Always transcribe with your research objective in mind. Don't just blindly type. Be an active listener. I like key phrases that connect to your research question as you go. Make notes in brackets about the participant tunes, emotions, or laughter. Add timestamps for powerful quotes. You know you will want to find later, especially if it is a focus group. This active engagement transforms transcription from a boring task into the first stage of analysis. By the time you finish your last transcript, you will already have a head start on identifying themes and you will have deeply familiarized yourself with your data. This will absolutely impress your supervisor and cut your analysis time down significantly. And that is it. You know, you know the what, the why, and how professional grade interview transcription for your research. If this video brought you clarity, please hit the like button. It helps YouTube show this guide to more research students like you. Then ensure you subscribe and turn on the notification by clicking the bell because next time I'm going to show you my exact step-by-step -step method for transcribing an interview using a free tool like Otter AI, Google Document, and Microsoft Word. You won't want to miss it. Finally, I want to help you specifically. Drop a comment below. What's your biggest struggle with transcription? Is it accuracy? Is it time? Is it cost? Or you don't know where to start? I read every comment and respond to it swiftly. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.